Welcome to the University of California Santa Barbara's applicant tutorial. This overview will show undocumented students how to fill out the UC applications, residency, and citizenship questions. We'll also share where you can tell your story as an undocumented student if you so desire. Let's get started. The term undocumented for the purposes of this tutorial refers to anyone residing in the United States without legal documentation. It includes individuals who entered the US without inspection and proper permission from the government, as well as anyone who entered with a legal visa that is no longer valid. If you are undocumented, the University of California proudly showcases its commitment to undocumented students who wish to study at a UC campus. We thank you for considering the University of California for your undergraduate degree. And we remind you that the immigration status of a student is not a factor in admission selection. As you start the University of California application, the first section is titled About You. Students are asked to self-report their citizenship and residency information here. Undocumented students can mark no selection from the drop-down menu when we ask about citizenship. If you mark a country other than the United States as your country of citizenship, the UC application will ask for a current and also a planned visa for your college degree. Now, reminder, if your immigration status changes during the course of the application cycle, or if it's updated while you're an undergraduate student, you can work with the residency deputy of the UC campus to make these changes. After we ask about citizenship, the application will ask students to share their social security number or SSN, as well as a student who has an individual taxpayer identification number, more commonly known as an ITIN. Do you have a US social security number for work purposes? Undocumented students who have DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, may have a work social. Do you have a DACA social? If you do, you can enter that number here. If you do not have a social, but you file taxes in the United States, then you probably have an ITIN. Enter that here. Finally, if you don't have a social or an ITIN, you can leave this question blank. You do not need to make up a number. Leave it blank as the question is not required for you to submit your UC application. For students who reside in California, Assembly Bill 540, also known as AB 540, grants in-state tuition for qualified students. In the UC application, we ask identifying questions so that we know whether or not you might be UC eligible for AB 540. These questions include, will you graduate from a California high school for freshmen or have you graduated from a California high school for transfer students? We then ask if you have three or more years at a K through 12 school in California. Your answers to these questions about AB 540 eligibility will trigger yes or no fields. Please be honest, as of today, the day you're filling out your application, is your answer yes? Is your answer no to each of these questions? If you're admitted and you enroll on a UC campus, qualified students based off of these answers will be given an AB 540 affidavit, which will require more information to verify AB 540 status. If you wish to elaborate on your undocumented student status, you can do so in two places. The first is your extracurricular activities. The UC application has a tab called Activities and Awards, which is where you share your participation in clubs and organizations. When you list activities, make sure to note the role you play within that activity or award. Be aware that just listing an activity that includes undocumented students does not mean you are undocumented. We cannot make those assumptions in the Office of Admissions. Each activity has a description box where you can tell us more about what you've done in that activity, sharing your role and your status if you'd like to. Use the 350 character count limit wisely. If you want to be direct with the Office of Admissions and say, I am undocumented and this is what it means to me, you can do so in the personal insight question section of the application, also known as the PIQ tab. The PIQs are a place for the Office of Admissions to understand the context 
of your academic and or personal accomplishments. Some general reminders. UC admissions officers are looking at your information for the purposes of admission and selection. None of us are reporting agents to ICE and immigration. We don't ask you point blank, are you undocumented in the UC application? So that if asked, we can't create a list of undocumented students because your safety matters to us. If admitted, we will ask you for an AB 540 affidavit for any qualifying students under AB 540, AB 2000 and or SB 68 legislation. Explore the University of California support system for undocumented students. We have links and answers to your questions about financial aid, definitions of all those legislations we mentioned, as well as legal services for undocumented students. Each University of California campus has a full-time undocumented student services coordinator. After you apply, check out the UC campus's webpage for undocumented students. Don't forget to apply for financial aid if you qualify. AB 540 eligible students should submit a California DREAM Act application by the March 2nd priority deadline, which will then allow you a financial aid award letter if admitted to a UC campus. All undocumented students should be looking at private scholarships to see what money you can bring in to your UC campus. Thanks for joining us for this brief overview of the University of California application for undocumented students. Additional tutorials are available on the UCSB For Me YouTube channel. Email UCSB admissions directly with additional questions that you might have. And don't forget to join our mailing list as we invite students to events that happen throughout the year. Thanks for watching.